and we have a real brief presentation, um, very similar to the one we did last Tuesday. Um, as we always do each year, um, just a reminder, the organizational chart of the county, the county is responsible for funding all of the agencies that you see and departments that you see on this screen. However, the ones in gold in the center are the ones that fall directly under the direction of the Board of Commissioners. Um, the millage history, um, this shows the countywide millage. Um, the orange bars with the numbers on them are the, are the portion that goes directly to the county. And as you see, that, that has continued to go down um, the millage um, over the last 10 years or so. A budget comparison by fund. The general fund is up 8.4% from last year, $51 million. Under your special revenue funds, your commissary is down 8.88%. Your drug seizures um, and your law library, those are flat. The accommodation excise tax up 1.38%. Intergovernmental, grant, intergovernmental grants are flat. Jail operations is down 38.02%. That is because a portion of those costs were transferred back into the general fund. Drug abuse treatment is down 11.11%. 911 at 4.45%. Victim witness is down slightly 7.21%. Um, this is another one of those fund, or, um, excuse me, fund driven accounts or funds. Um, as the fine monies go down, the amount that's available for the, these agencies goes down. And your special services fund is virtually flat at 0.99%. Um, under your capital project funds, you still have some funds in SPLOST 5 and SPLOST 6, as well as the judicial and administrative and jail construction accounts um, that should be um, expended in the next year or so. Um, SPLOST 7 is your SPLOST that began in January. We did not have that budgeted last year because it had not passed at that time. Under your enterprise funds, water and sewer down 10.74%. If you recall, um, we refinanced the bonds last year and that saved us quite a bit on those. The landfill is up 8.45%. Street lighting, 1.54%. Um, equipment maintenance is virtually flat at 0.32%. Your health insurance continues to rise 14.7%. Um, the fleet manager, as the cost of your vehicles and equipment, um, the maintenance cost on those continue to rise. You will see this increase. It's 18.03% this year. But your workers' compensation is down 14.14%. Overall, um, your total funds are at $112.8 million. If you look at your general fund in comparison to last year, um, your taxes are up 9.64%. This does have in it an anticipated millage increase. Um, licenses and permits, those are up slightly. This is from your stormwater fees. Um, Intergovernmental, 87.77%. Um, charges for service are down 6.04%. Fines and forfeitures are virtually flat at 1.45%. Um, for your total revenues of $50.1 million, which is up 8.51%. On the expenditure side, um, you'll see that most of these have about the same increase um, Overall, total expenditures up 8.52% or $50.2 million. When you put your transfers in, you have a net of zero or a balanced budget. Some of the highlights for this year, there is virtually flat property tax revenues. The only um, real increase that we're seeing in that is due to the TAVT or the title ad valorem tax but the full effect of that, we're not sure exactly where that's going to go in the next year or two. Um, we are still seeing declines in our sales tax revenues. They're currently showing at about the 2010 um, levels. 
um, where this comes into your general fund funding is that is the property tax rollback and as there's less of that it puts a strain on that general fund um, there were some compensation adjustments um, as directed by the Board of Commissioners that there was a salary study and it addressed market and equity needs in the, in the compensation plan but on top of that there is no other cost of living or merit increase there are some limited personnel additions there are a few vehicles and we've tried to address the computer needs that have been put off over the last several years um, this does allow for a continuation of the current level of services since our last meeting there were a couple of other adjustments that have been made um, there were some additional funds put in for improvements to property and parking lots um, there was some additional funding as requested by LODAC there was a vehicle added for the extension service some additional equipment for the Georgia State Patrol and there were funds put in for um, possible security improvements in this building that will bring um, your anticipated millage um, increase to 1.09 mils and that will all be dependent on where the digest actually comes out Um, if you look at your breakdown of your general fund revenues um, based on this budget 87.18 percent is um, derived from taxes of those taxes 71.72 percent of that is from property tax on the expenditure side you can see where those funds go 23.45 percent is your general government 10.76 for your court services 30, almost 38 percent for public safety and 9.53 percent for public works um, if you break that down um, by a dollar of where your money goes um, you can see what services each dollar of your taxes funds that's all I have Commissioners, you have any questions? Very good. Is there anybody in the audience who would like to have make a comment? 